Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song-specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song-specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has pads, synth, strings, arps, and bass all triggered in the left hand range which stretches from here up to here. Your right hand will play chords for most of the song in this middle range of the keyboard. When the song section control is all the way down, there is a piano sound from this note up all the rest of the keys. Then when the song section control is at two thirds or above, you'll hear a synth sound from this note up. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, down verse, down pre-chorus, down chorus, and down refrain. At one third will be the medium verse, medium pre-chorus, medium chorus, and medium refrain. At two thirds will be the bridge. And all the way up will be the big chorus, the refrain, the bridge, and the outro. And remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play single notes in the high octave of your left hand range, and your right hand will play chords. I like to voice those chords like this. For the down verse, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play single notes in the high octave of your left hand range and chords in your right hand. I like to keep those chords really simple by just playing single notes or just a couple notes of the chord. So I like to play those like this. The pre-chorus comes directly after the verse, and it's just one line, so you'll play everything the same way. For the medium verse, you'll move the song section control to one-third, and you'll play everything the same way for this verse and this pre-chorus as well. For your down chorus, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You're going to play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. I like to voice those chords like this. For the medium chorus, you'll move your song section control to one third. You'll play octaves in your left hand and you'll play the same chords in your right hand. This chorus is two times through, so you'll play it a total of two times. Then for the big chorus, towards the end of the song, you'll increase the song section control all the way up, you'll play octaves in your left hand, and this time you'll play a synth riff in your right hand. That synth riff sounds like this.
This is also a double chorus, so you'll play it a total of two times through as well. For the down refrain, you'll bring the song section control all the way back down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and chords in your right hand. This part comes directly after the down chorus, so you'll play the chords the same way as in the chorus. For the medium refrain, you'll move the song section control to two thirds. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a synth lead in your right hand. That synth lead sounds like this. Here it is with the left hand. For the big refrain at the end of the song, you'll bring the song section control all the way up and you'll play everything the same way. For the bridge, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a synth riff in your right hand. This is a new synth riff. Here's what it sounds like. Now this bridge is a total of two times through. So for the first time, I like to play the synth riff just like that. And then the second time, I like to play it in octaves to build the section. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, or you can just jump up an octave and play it up here. But here's how I like to play that octave riff. For the big bridge, you'll have the song section control all the way up, and you'll play everything the exact same way as the regular bridge. Following this bridge is the outro, where you'll repeat the chord progression a total of two more times, as well as the synth riff in your right hand. Be sure to check out the full demo video to see how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Main Stage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song-specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Main Stage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song-specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.